All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? We're here for week 11 of Picks with P. Went 6-7 and seven last week, and damn you, Nick Chubb. Just damn you. 60-yard touchdown run you had to ice the game, go up 10 with 50 seconds to play, but no, you had to run out of bounds at the one-yard line to not cover the damn spread for no reason. F you, Nick Chubb. Rat bastard. Ah, gosh damn it. We would have had a winning week and picked it back up. But as it stands right now, we're 64, 73, and 1. We're 9 back. Running out of weeks here to make this thing up, but I believe we can do it. Let's get into it. Game 1, Tennessee at Baltimore. Baltimore's playing a lot better on defense. The offense is stort, start, sort of starting to figure it out. I think with Lamar, they're doing a lot better. He's been a lot more efficient the last two games. Tennessee has been up and down, left to right. Nobody really knows what the Titans got going for them. They're way too inconsistent for me. Give me the Ravens minus five. Okay, Lions at the Panthers. Lions coming off of a game-winning 59-yard field goal from Matt Prater over football team. Big win for them. They needed the morale boost. And football team's not that bad. They played a lot better in the second half with Alex Smith, at quarterback. Took him a little while to get his, you know, legs under him, literally. But they got it done. Carolina, no Teddy Bridgewater, no Christian McCaffrey. P.J. Walker making his first career NFL start. He's thrown for 15 total yards in his career. Give me the Lions minus two. I just think it's too much of a tall order to ask P.J. Walker to get this thing done. But the Panthers are a tough team. But I'm liking the Lions here. Okay, Steelers at the Jags. Pittsburgh undefeated, rolling, right? Yeah, and they're playing the measly one-win Jags. But hey, Jake Lutton's looked pretty good under center for the Jags the last two weeks. Lost by two to the Texans in his first start and put Green, pushed Green Bay to the brink last week in Green Bay. Had a pretty solid outing. So give me the Jags plus 10.5 here. Huge number, and Pittsburgh has not looked great with these big lines lately. So I'm loving the Jags this week at home, plus 10.5. Patriots at the Texans. Texans are all over the place. They, they don't have much on the offensive you know, side of the ball besides Deshaun Watson. The defense is way too inconsistent. New England's playing a lot better. Big win. Big, big win on Monday night against the Ravens last week. Or, no. Sunday night. Excuse me. Big win on Sunday night against the Ravens last week. Give me, give me the Patriots minus two here. They're playing a lot better. Bill Belichick's going to find a way to cut, take away Deshaun Watson. Give me the Patriots minus two. Okay, Eagles at the Browns. Eagles who were terrible last week. They've been terrible all year. They're so inconsistent. The team is trash. Carson Wentz is all over the place. But they're playing the Browns, who are just as inconsistent and just as bad most of the time. But the Browns at least win some freaking football games. Nick Chubb, I swear to the Lord, if you blow this spread again, I'm going to come get you. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to write a strongly worded letter against your ass. Baker, please don't be inept. Browns minus three. Take the Browns. Okay, Falcons at the Saints. This is a tough one for me. Taysom Hill looks like he's getting the start at quarterback for the Saints. Not Jameis Winston. Again, no Drew Brees because of the injury. Falcons coming off a bye. Give me the Falcons plus three and a half right here at New Orleans. I know New Orleans is the better team, but the Falcons always play them tough. And I just don't know what Taysom Hill is going to give you a quarterback. Way too inconsistent, I think. No unproven guy. Give me the Falcons plus three and a half on the road here. All right, really interesting game. Bengals at football team. Bengals struggling without Joe Mixon. It's all on Joe Burrow, who I love right now, quarterback. He's been great. No T. Higgins either for the Bengals. Really tall task to go into play a Washington defense that's been great up front and pretty solid all around all year. Alex Smith seems like he's getting his uh, into the uh, into the role of things. So I like the football team right here, minus one and a half. Give me Washington. I think this is going to be a really close game, but I like the football team to win this game. Okay, Dolphins at the Broncos. Dolphins are playing such good football right now. Five in a row, two is three and oh. Defense is elite right now, dominating opponents up front. Got a really good kicker. They can make long field goals. They can play these low scoring games. And Tua does just enough good things that you see out of him. Make plays, win the game. Denver, on the other hand, has not been good. Drew Locke looks not great. He's kind of falling off. Big surprise here. We may need another quarterback in Denver. What else is new? John Elway and quarterback talent is bad. So give me the Dolphins minus three and a half here. Okay, Jets at the Chargers. Jets coming off a bye. Chargers are still the Chargers. 
Justin Herbert got an ugly ass haircut this week. I don't like it. It looks terrible. He used to have long flow. Now he looks like, I don't know, it's bad. I'll probably put a picture up right here. Good God, it's awful. Just look at it. Again, Joe Flacco getting the start off a bye. I kind of like this in favor. I know Joe Flacco's inconsistent. Big line, 9.5 here. Give me the Jets plus 9.5. I know what am I doing taking the Jets always. Okay, great game to watch. Packers at the Colts. Packers really struggle with physical play from teams running the football, pound, ground and pound. Colts, number one defense in the NFL, and points given up, really shut teams down. Packers do have a high-powered offense, but I just don't know if they're going to be able to play a physical game that the Colts want to play. Game's in Indy, so that does help the Packers a little bit. Being indoors, they could maybe play a little bit faster with Devontae Adams on the outside and Aaron Jones in space, but the Colts' defense is so, so good. I do question if the Colts can score with the Packers, but if the defense contains them just enough, I like the Colts here, minus one and a half. Cowboys at the Vikings. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Vikings are hot, man. Three in a row, three division games, big Monday night win. Cowboys coming off a bye. Vikings a little banged up. Got their starting guard out, starting fullback, questionable, coming off the COVID list, may come off, may not. So I like the Cowboys here, plus seven. I don't know if I can trust the Vikings. I think the Vikings win this game, but it's a lot closer than it needs to be. Andy Dalton's back. Maybe that gives a boost to the Cowboys offense. Who knows? But I like the Cowboys plus seven here. Mike McCarthy and Mike Zimmer know each other well. So they are not going to be too many surprises up here. Minnesota's playing really good, but I think they have a little bit of a letdown on a short week and a huge, huge three division wins, two of which on the road. Okay, Chiefs at Vegas. Chiefs coming back here. Big time, big time game for the Chiefs. It's their only loss of the season. Vegas is playing great football right now. They got themselves squarely in the wild card uh, hunt. They're looking really strong, but the Chiefs going to want that redemption. Chiefs minus seven here. Give me Pat Mahomes. Give me the Chiefs. Pat Mahomes really not getting enough talk for the MVP right now. His numbers are fantastic. Chiefs running the ball strong. They're throwing the ball strong. They're playing great defense. Super, defending Super Bowl champs somehow flying under the radar a little bit. Give me the Chiefs in a redemption game. Minus seven here. Okay, Monday Night Affair. Big time game. Rams at Buccaneers. This game feels desperate for both teams. Both teams have been inconsistent coming off a win game, lose a game, win a game, win a game, lose a game. It's big time. Both teams great run defenses. Both teams kind of need the run to establish the passing game. <sighs> I Give me the Rams here. I think the Rams are a very underrated football team. I've said it all year going into the game. I don't know if they can be consistent enough on offense. <sighs> it's a big number. Four here, plus four. Give me the Rams. Um... They're just a little inconsistent, I think, but it's going to be enough. I think the Buccaneers win this game, but it's going to be by a field goal. Rams plus four. Ugh. All right, let's rerun down those afternoon games here. We got the Ravens minus five. We got the Lions minus two. Jags plus ten and a half. The Patriots minus two. The Browns minus three. The Falcons plus three and a half. And football team minus one and a half. For the afternoon games, give me the Colts minus two. Give me the Viking or give me the Cowboys plus seven. Give me the Dolphins minus three and a half. And give me the Jets plus nine and a half. And then for the primetime games Sunday night, give me the Chiefs minus seven. And then give me the they uh give me the Rams plus four. Alright, that's gonna do it for us this week on week eleven. Be sure to follow my picks on Action Network. Check out the links in the description, subscribe to the channel, share if you like it, and I'll see you all next week.